So we're flying into the Kaimanawas with Heliseeker. I'm real stoked to be heading into this area. A couple of years ago, I helped the Seeker Foundation set up a uh, field conservation project. And they started off with just two breeding pairs in, in the Kaipo River. And by all accounts, that's just popped off. They reckon they've got 14 birds up that river now. The stoats have come down, and I'm just stoked to be heading in. Uh, never shot a Seeker deer before. So hopefully come away with an animal, but more than anything, just, just excited to see those birds, yeah. This is Mia. So Mia's 10 years old, she's a conservation dog. She's been working on sort of deer management projects across New Zealand for uh, since she's sort of nine months old. She specializes in deer detection, but she's pretty good at doing things like goats and pigs and stuff like that. Without going into the history of sika deer, they're probably the second most common species in the North Island, central North Island. They have a relatively confined population. Uh, there's a few satellite populations throughout the North Island, but you know, you've got to travel up here from anywhere else in New Zealand to find sika deer, unlike red deer or fallow, which are very dispersed throughout New Zealand. We we'll use our own reaches to communicate. If we're going to split up, you can just split up. Cover a bit of country, Cover eh? Cover a bit of country. Neither, yeah. neither of us know the country that well. Yeah, so we'll split up, um, and then if you want to stick to this side of the creek, you know, like these terraces in here, or this whole hillside, just all this handy stuff, and we'll skip across and do this piece in here. Yep. And I'm hoping that, that I can get a wind off this ridge here with the dog. And my goal is to try and shoot a, a good representative over the dog. But in regards to checking out the population, you know, just to see what condition they're in and how they're doing, whether they're healthy, whether they're fat, and um, whether they're worth, you know, putting on the dinner plate for other people. We've just popped up onto this sort of terracy creek, and we're just gonna sort of sneak along a little bit of a crosswind. So the idea is that we walk the dog through crosswind she'll pick up a scent and take us into it so we're trying to cut as much wind as we can try pick up a deer we've spooked it 